Now, a, another little different approach that we have uh, is this different approach to poverty that Andy Lower is about to come out and tell us about. And that has been a message that we've been hearing all morning is that we need to take a different ap approach. But also something very different is going to happen here for us. And we hear all the time, or we're asked all the time, how many deals are done at SoCal? And we really don't know. Entrepreneurs meet investors, things happen here, things happen next week, things happen next month. But Andy's going to come out here and take a little bit different approach. Andy? Thank you. Good morning. How are you all doing? Um, my name is Andy Lower, and I'm the founder of ADAP, A Different Approach to Poverty. And we invest in and support early stage seed businesses in a variety of sectors across the developing world who are eradicating extreme poverty. We invest relatively small amounts of money, typically around 75,000 per deal, and then work with the entrepreneurs to support them in building and growing their businesses. We love SOCAP on many levels. SOCAP is amazing, and yet every year we have been here, we have seen the outrageous hypocrisy where so much time is spent talking and pontificating about how we should be changing the world rather than remembering why we're here, which is actually to get stuff done. When doing due diligence on early stage seed businesses, the best answer that an entrepreneur wants to hear typically is a quick yes. The second best answer is a really quick no. At least then, they know what the lay of the land is, they know where they stand, and they know where they can spend their time. The absolute worst answer, which is unfortunately currently the cultural norm in most early stage social impact investing, is a slow, drawn out no, where an investor abuses their powers, spends weeks, sometimes months, stringing along the entrepreneur as they dither and play power games to reach an investment decision. It's often a waste of the... <laughs> it's often a waste of the investor's time, definitely a waste of the entrepreneur's time, and sadly, it means that we're not having the impact that we're all talking about here at this conference. So we believe in the four-hour due diligence process, which is supported by data that we can make solid investment decisions after only taking up four hours of the entrepreneur's time. We want to be smart, we want to be wise, but we want to act with integrity and empathy and truly put our money where our mouths are. We don't want to be driven by fear in making investment decisions, but instead focused on data and facts. And we want to find a win-win-win scenario for the investors, for the entrepreneurs, and most significantly for the in-country stakeholders. Collectively with John Ayliff from One to Four Gift Fest and Ron and Marlise Bowen from BOMA, We've applied variations of this four-hour due diligence process over the last four years to directly invest approximately $5 million in just over 100 deals. We guesstimate the total net asset value today to be about 13 million. And we have seen over 100 million come into those companies in follow-on financing and a direct impact each week on hundreds of thousands of lives. To date, over 90% of those deals are still alive. We think our investment approach works because time is spent where it needs to be spent, helping entrepreneurs to get stuff done to build their businesses. Rather than distracting them with a bazillion questions and getting them to jump through hoops, we want to use our time post-investment to make a difference. So, we thought we'd apply this approach to our new fund at ADAP, Fund 2, innovative name there, which we're in the process of launching targeting 40 to 50 new companies and hoping to deploy up to $5 million. We set up a deal room here at SOCAP, working with my partner, Dan Lucia ADAP, and five weeks ago, we asked entrepreneurs to join our deal room this week with us. We had 44 companies that applied to come on the roller coaster journey, and we whittled that down to eight companies who we met for the very first time face-to-face -face on Tuesday afternoon of this week. We wanted to see if we could actually meet entrepreneurs for the first time on a Tuesday and then be ready to announce deals on the Friday. The four-hour due diligence live 
and excitingly slash scarily real. So I'm really pleased and thankful and relieved to announce that it has been a successful process so far. We've reached an agreement with two amazing teams of incredible entrepreneurs who we believe will be successful in building businesses. As of today and from today, these companies will be working with ADAP Advisory to build up their network of support and to continue to develop the four cornerstones, values, impact, revenue, and growth that hopefully will lead to successful social enterprises. We've been really pleased to partner and proud to partner with Kyle Westaway from Westaway, a social enterprise law firm who has graciously and generously agreed to offer a year's worth of free legal services to these companies. So, without further ado, thank you, a bit excited. Without further ado, I'm pleased to announce the companies. We'll be working with Sona and Teresa from Neopenda. Neopenda is a global healthcare startup striving to engineer healthcare solutions that give newborns in low resource settings the healthy lives they deserve. They have developed an incredible low cost, low power, wearable vital signs monitor with initial deployment in Uganda and then across Africa. Neopenda is led by an incredible pair of female entrepreneur, female entrepreneur engineers and with a product development focused team working on the critical issue of infant mortality. Secondly, we'll be... I'm, I'm too busy getting stuff done to wait for the applause, so apologies. Uh, secondly, we're excited to be working from, with Carl from Good Nature Agro. Good. Good Nature Agro invests in small-scale farmers in Zambia to, gener to generate lasting income with the farmers. Good Nature Agro's comprehensive approach helps farmers reach their potential while at the same time improving the sustainability of farming in Zambia. So, I'd like them to come to the stage so we can give them a check. Please give them a huge round of applause. Good job. Praise the journey. Good job. Well done. Praise the journey. Perfect, take them with you. Thank you. Let's focus on getting stuff done. Have a good rest of the week.